Defensive loading is a new skill in Monster Hunter Now that allows you to play the heavy bowgun more aggressively. It reloads your ammo every time you guard an attack, so you skip the long reload animations of the heavy bowgun. And you no longer need to dodge the safety just to reload. Now, defensive loading is not just a quality of life skill. It actually helps with your DPS by reloading the same ammo that deals high damage. Like for example, the Wyvern ammo. It deals insane damage, but it only has two bullets. Normally, you would have to reload and cycle through the next ammo type before you can use Wyvern Fire again. But with defensive loading, you can keep reloading Wyvern ammo by guarding and keep dishing out high damage. The problem is, the shield on the heavy bowgun sucks. Oh my god! So, to use defensive loading effectively, we'll need to know how much guard we need for our builds and which ammo types to use. So, I tested out the heavy bowgun with different levels of guard to see its effects on knockback and chip damage. With guard level 1, we still take the same chip damage from heavy monster attacks as if we have no guard skills at all. Guard level 1 does limit the chip damage from light monster attacks to only 1 damage. And we also get less knockback. Personally, I think guard level 1 is sadly not enough for the heavy bogut. Even if we perfect guard heavy monster attacks, we still take chip damage. Equipping guard level 2 doesn't make much of a difference. Guard 2 reduces chip damage from heavy monster attacks by only 1, now dealing 5 chip damage. But guard level 3 reduces chip damage even further to only 3 damage. If we pay close attention to the knockback, we can see that guard level 1 and guard level 2 still have the same knockback. But guard level 3 is faster by a fraction. Though we need to slow it down frame by frame to really notice the difference. So with that, I think guard level 3 is the sweet spot. You get significantly reduced chip damage and faster knockback recovery frames with guard level 3. Have any more than 3 and you will lose out on DPS. But if you want to take things even further, then guard 4 reduces chip damage to 2 and guard 5 reduces it to only 1 damage. In terms of knockback, guard 4 will still have the same knockback as guard 3, and the additional benefit of getting guard all the way to level 5 is that you recover from knockback even faster. But again, the difference is small and you will barely notice it. Based on my experience, I felt very comfortable using defensive loading with guard level 3. The knockback doesn't even feel too bad, but you can still definitely feel the chip damage. That's why you have to make sure that your armor's defense is on par with the monster's difficulty. If not, you will take significantly more chip damage. You can get away with guard level 1, but you have to know which monster attacks to block and which ones to dodge. And the same is true even with guard level 3. You don't want to be blocking all the heavy monster attacks and take a ton of chip damage. Now, no matter how much guard skills you have equipped, you will still take chip damage when simply blocking. The only way to negate all chip damage is by perfect guarding. The problem is, it's very difficult to pull off with the heavy bowgun. With all the different ammo types and the different recoils, it's hard to master the guard timing when it varies depending on the ammo type. It's too risky to even try to do perfect guards with the heavy bowgun. Every time you see the monster turning red, you need to fire off one more shot and hope that you'll recover from the recoil just in time to guard the attack. Now, to consistently reload using defensive loading, you have to be close to the monster. And some ammo types are not really that great up close, like the piercing ammo. Piercing rounds have a very long range and will be out of its critical distance if you stand too close to the monster. When blocking attacks, the monster ends up next to us, and the piercing rounds won't deal their optimal damage at that range. 
so you want to avoid using defensive loading with heavy bowguns with this ammo. So the best ammo types to take advantage of the defensive loading skill are the spread ammo, the wyvern ammo, and the sticky ammo. Spread ammo greatly benefits from defensive loading since you need to be up close and personal with the monster to deal optimal damage. Using defensive loading, you can stay close to the monster all the time without needing to reposition yourself to reload safely. The same goes for wyvern ammo. It outputs high damage but it also has quite the limited range, and it only has 2 bullets. Getting to reload more wyvern ammo using defensive loading will allow us to deal more high damage using wyvern shots. <laughs> defensive loading is also great for the sticky ammo. By reloading the same ammo type, you can keep firing sticky rounds and consistently build up stun to KO monsters. When you block attacks, the monster's head becomes an easy target for you to land those stickies. Speaking of status effects, status bullets like poison and sleep ammo can also benefit from defensive loading if you want to go down the status support route with the Basarios heavy bowgun. You can keep reloading and reloading those status bullets using defensive loading and keep on stacking those status buildup. Now defensive loading gives a lot of pros when it comes to the heavy bowgun, but it's not the only weapon that benefits from this skill. The Gunlands and the Charge Blade can also use it. Long Gunlands players can consider equipping this skill, but it'll only save you a couple of seconds since reloading shells doesn't even take that long. I can see the Charge Blade getting some value from defensive loading, but it'll take up an armor slot you could have used for more damage. So this skill really shines with the Heavy Bowgun. Now defensive loading isn't as useful when playing in multiplayer. There's a big chance that the monster won't just attack you, so you can't rely on defensive loading alone to reload your heavy bowgun. It's really best used in solo hunts where the monster's aggro is focused on you. So for multiplayer hunts, I'd suggest equipping reload speed in your builds. While the monster is busy attacking your teammates, you can take your time and reload your heavy bowgun. To find out just how much reload speed you'll need to equip, be sure to check out this video next.